All right, today is July 24th, 2023. Um, I've got another package. Uh, officially, my book Inklings came out several, two weeks ago on July 10th. Um, a lot of problems trying to finalize the publication and um, get my author's copy ordered. But it has finally arrived. The book's already been available. So this is kind of late, but uh, regardless, I'm going to open this. Uh, I'm going to do a little side video and flip through it a little bit so people can get a better understanding of what's inside. Um, but yeah, pretty exciting. And here we go. Inklings. All right, so here it is. As you can see, for those of you that don't know, this is three years of Inktober illustrations that I did, uh, starring this guy here, for those of you that don't know him, Plunger Monkey Dynamo. Uh, he's my sort of alter ego manifestation of some of the crazier parts of my brain. Um, I've already heard from a couple of friends and family members that have received copies of the book. Uh, because for some reason they were able to go on Amazon and order copies and receive them within a couple of days, or, you know, I think the longest was maybe a week, uh, whereas my author's copy took two weeks for some reason. Don't know why, but whatever. Uh, at least people were able to get their hands on the book, uh, starting from when I actually published it. Um... If you bothered to watch that probably overly long unboxing video I did of the, uh, the proofs, I identified a bunch of little printing errors and problems and things I needed to tweak and fix. Um, so I've been checking in with the people that already have it, that I know, um, to see how things have printed. I've seen a couple of copies that still had some of the issue with the full bleed, not uh, getting cut quite right on the edge, so there were little little white edges at the bottom, um, but this copy does not have that issue. And I think at least one other person mentioned that they didn't have that issue. They did have an issue with uh, a white, a little bit of white border showing up, I think, on this waste leave page, um, but that is not the case in my copy. So I'm kind of hopeful that uh, any of those little printing errors are... Um, just minor and random and perhaps just early kinks from the first printings of it and uh, won't be an issue going forward. Um, and hopefully anybody that did get a copy, if they have those problems, hopefully it's not too big of a deal for them. I know that the cover price is a little uh, high for an unknown such as myself, um, but it's kind of the price point I had to land on based on the minimums that Amazon said I could charge to cover the printing costs and to cover them making their own profit off of it. So that being said, I want to just flip through a little bit, give everybody a little uh, preview of what you can find on the inside. Um, I set this whole book up kind of to somewhat look like uh, an old illuminated manuscript. Um, so with like the, you know, the nice sepia pages with the ink splatters, appropriate for a book of pen and ink drawings. Um, so I created all these custom textures for all these pages. Um, I created these little guys here from ink splatters that I made by throwing ink at paper and then scanning all those ink splatters in, identifying some really interesting ink splatter marks and turning them into little critters because I thought that was fun. So they, uh, they kind of show up on the corners of all the pages. Um, and then I also spent pretty much all of last year, 2022, designing three unique fonts. Because there's, as, as we said, covers three years of Inktober illustrations. I created a different font for each year um, that was going to be represented in the book, and I broke the book up into those sections. So this was 2019, went with a little dragon font, The other thing I did, so the way I set these pages up, like I said, sort of trying to look like 
sort of an illuminate illuminated manuscript. Um, so we got the fancy, fancy first letter. Um, I designed these little header images to go along with all of the fonts. Um, and all of these wound up being turned into a, a couple of different variations of t-shirts, which you can purchase on my Etsy shop if you are interested. Um, but so the basic format of the book, three sections, one for each year. Got the nice little header image at the top, the, the day of um, the Inktober prompt, so day one, day two, day three, whatever. The prompt in my fancy font, the definition um, of the word and pronunciation and all that fun stuff, just because I thought that was a fun little touch. And then I wrote sort of a little, not really analysis or explanation, but just something that I was inspired to say about each of these illustrations that I did. And then, of course, the right-hand side, you've got the actual uh, illustration of the prompt. Um, so, 31 days in the month of October. So, 31 illustrations for each year, with the exception of one, which I will explain when I get to it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy overall with the print quality, the way this came out. Looks really good. Uh, and as I've stated before, it's really kind of surreal to see my work in a published format like this. I mean, since I've been relatively young, I always kind of wanted to do illustrated books, graphic novels, and that sort of thing. But I, I wanted to do something that was, you know, a thick book. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't really drawn to doing the, uh, the 22 page sort of magazine format comic books. I like them. I read them. I appreciate them, but that just wasn't, wasn't the kind of storytelling I wanted to do. Um, of course, this isn't a story. This is just a, an art book, but so for each of these prompts, I, wanted to not go necessarily strictly with literal definitions. I wrote the definitions, and the definitions somewhat reflect um, the direction I went with each illustration. So if a, a, de a particular prompt had multiple meanings, multiple definitions, I kind of tried to put the one in the book that was related to what I ended up drawing. But, uh, you know, everything I wanted to do, I wanted to do kind of, I wanted to be a little outside of the box, a little weird, a little zany, a little absur uh, uh, absurd. Um, and each of these illustrations, like this one, uh, you know, I, I have been influenced by a lot of different creators and a lot of different creative properties in my time that have shaped who I am as a creative person, um, the ideas that I have, and even like the visual language that I use. And one of my biggest influences has been Bill Watterson uh, from the comic strip Calvin and Hobbes. So this particular uh, image is paying homage to uh, one of his comic strips. Um, but yeah, throughout the book, there's Star Wars references, Calvin and Hobbes references, He-Man references, uh, you name it. If it was part of my upbringing that inspired me. It got referenced somehow in here. So here's year 2020. This is a brush font that's also got a little bit of a... Probably can't quite see it on camera, but a little wave in the circle. Each of these brush circles was done by hand, ink on paper. Um, all of the fonts I created digitally. Um, and as I said before, I created all these these brush fonts. I didn't use like a stock brush that had all these nice little artifacts and stuff on it. I I drew all of those little, you know, wisps and hairs and stuff like that um, by hand. Um, so this is the year that there's actually 32 illustrations because I kind of messed up when I looked up the prompt list for that year. And I started doing the Inktober 52 prompt list. So Inktober takes place in the month of October. 31 prompts, one for each day. Inktober 52 is a year-long exercise slash challenge. Um, one, one prompt per week. So I wasn't paying enough attention. 
I looked up a prompt. It was flight. It was for Inktober 52, not Inktober uh, 2020. Um, but I drew it, so I figured I would include it anyway. And I explained that, you know, my mistake in there anyway. So, <laughs> the first prompt is actually listed as negative day one. And then we have actual day one. Um, so if you take the time to actually, you know, look at my illustrations and study them and read the, the commentary about why I drew what I drew, um, one of the things you'll notice is that I have sort of an obsession for detail. And I'm not saying I'm, you know, unique or special in that. It's just something that my parents tell me I've always been focused on since I was a little kid. First time I started picking up crayons or pencils to draw, I was always focused on capturing little details. So, um, you know, especially that, where was it? The radio one. There we go. Uh, I remember drawing this one and how long it took me to draw all these little dials and knobs and things like that. Um, but I love doing that. It, it takes me too long and maybe I'm not as productive as I could be, but uh, if you're not enjoying drawing, then why are you drawing? Um, so try to not make this another 30-minute uh, video, so I'm just going to try to flip through really quickly here. I really like this. I want to make a video game someday, and I, this is going to show up in it. Um, but yeah, so this is 2021, the third of the three years. Got a nice little squid font. But, you know, you can see the format. It's, like I said, supposed to be kind of like an illuminated manuscript. Um, I do hope that if you pick up a copy and take the time to go through it, that you spend a little time looking at, you know, the fonts that I created, these little header images, read what I wrote, as well as enjoy the illustrations. Um, it's been an awful lot of work to get this to the point where it is now available to the public, um, not just in terms of the year I spent designing all these fonts and laying out the book, um, which actually was more than a year, like a year and a half, including all of that, uh, not to mention all the time it took to do the actual Inktober illustrations, um, but, you know, I'm 46 years old. It has truly been a lifetime of work and practice and training and effort uh, to get to the point where I've got something like this out there for the public at large to enjoy. So I really do hope that people hear about this, find out about this. If you've got a copy, um, if you follow me on social media, or if you're watching this video, uh, buy a copy, tell people about it, help me spread the word, um, help me get the word out about Plunger Monkey and, and you know, This is uh, a comic book style ad I made at the back for those t-shirts that I mentioned before, um, which is another thing that's really cool to me, just seeing this, seeing comic work that I've done in printed format is just, it's, it's kind, of a, kind of a trip um, because I have more of this kind of stuff planned. And this book, in many ways, aside from being its own thing that I wanted to put out there, um, it's kind of a test to see you know, to, to learn the ropes of the self-publishing process, um, figuring out the details of laying out a book, putting it together, image quality, all of that stuff, uh, format, things like that. Um, but I do have, like I said, graphic novel stories that I want to tell um, that I'm probably going to be focusing on in the not-too-distant future, um, depending on how some other things go. But... There you have it. There's my book inklings. Um, if you already have a copy, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I've been at this a long time. Lots of ups and downs, bumps in the road. Uh, I wound up taking like almost 10 years where I didn't get any work done in my studio because I was being a stay-at-home parent and I was just too busy. So I got 
very little studio time in. Um, no regrets. Totally worth it. Not complaining. Um, but yeah, to be at this point, to finally have something out that people can pick up and enjoy, um, it's just really special to me. And I really do hope that uh, more and more people find out about Plunger Monkey. More and more people uh, start following me on social media. Um, buying copies of the book, buying copies of future books that I put out, uh, buying t-shirts, and, you know, I'll build my plunger monkey empire and uh, finally earn a living doing what I love. So, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for buying a copy if you did. Um, and more good things to come. <laughs>